Um, hello, good morning. Grace and peace be multiplied to you. Kubeji, wow. What happened? Yep. Titus chapter number three. Kubeji, before cleaning the drum this morning, that's interesting. Titus chapter number three. Titus chapter number three. Titus chapter number three. Titus three. Okay. Titus three. Titus three. One to fifteen. Glory to God. Let's make our declaration this morning. I got declarations this morning. You all who keep missing me, we call you Why do you do that to yourself? Such a good time we had on Sunday, on Wednesday, yesterday. Don't miss me, we call you 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 Don't miss it. Don't miss me, Dwick. Yes, there was explosive. It was power packed. Yeah. Glory to God. What's Elroy? Why are you doing this thing now? Elroy. Elroy was the name he guy called God. Because Ishmael did not die. Yeah. So am I going to flow with the name he guy called God? Or the name The epistles describing us, or the name Jesus called God, Father. Hey guys, not my prototokos. I mean, I understand that revelation of God that He hears or He sees, but that's what my Abba is. Yeah. I'm just saying. I don't understand the guy. Even my room was on fire. Yeah, yes, it was good. Titus chapter number three. Titus chapter two is not on the page. I don't know what happened to it. Um, El Roy. I wanted to enroll me into El Roy. So I don't... Frame your life. I got my I got my healing yesterday. Share with me, please. I got my healing yesterday. Share with me, please. Thank you, Jesus. I got my healing yesterday. Share with me, please. Share with me, please. Share with me, please. Share with me your healing. What happened to you? Share with me, please. The first time, the first name is Father. The most important title is Father. The guy dragged me into El Rohim yesterday. I said, El Rohim? I don't know. And that's the name. You find it in Genesis. So it's a name that he guy called God when Ishmael did not die, you see? So I, I'm not saying there's anything bad in it. I'm just, it's okay. Um, I rather call God what Jesus called God. I rather call God what Jesus called God. And that's what, Jesus is my prototokos. Hey guy is not my prototokos. So I'm not going to call God what hey guy called God. And that's fine. That's who God is to write. That's good. But that's not, God is father to me. Not just the one who hears me to do something for me. Is Abba to me, for we have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. We have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, What? Abba, Father. <clears throat> Does it mean God is seeing my secret? I don't. I didn't know where the guy was coming from. Yeah. Glory. <laughs> Glory to God. You people say, People like Trump. You brought a ring to this place. Praise. Just stop. Ah. <laughs> uh. Let's make our declaration on the count of three. One, two, three, go. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I am the beloved of Abba. All my sins are forgiven. I am passionately loved by God. I am powerfully helped by God. I am kept and protected by God. I enjoy angelic assistance. I am irrevocably blessed. I am eternally forgiven. I am the healed of the Lord. 
I enjoy divine health. I have the favor and the wisdom of God. I am fruitful. I flourish, excel, and prosper in all that I do. I have the multiplier's anointing. Nothing is against him. Nothing dies in my hands. I am never stranded. The supernatural is natural to me. All things are working together for my good. God loves me more than the devil hates me. And grace is working for me. Glory to God. I feel like that we should do that again. Please, if you don't mind, let's make the declaration. Because that's, if that's proclamation of faith. That's proclamation of faith. One, two, three, go. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm the redeemed of the Lord. I'm the beloved of Abba. All my sins are forgiven. I am passionately loved by God. I am powerfully helped by God. I am kept and protected by God. <clears throat> I enjoy angelic assistance. I am irrevocably blessed. I am eternally forgiven. I am the healed of the Lord. I enjoy divine health. I have the favor and the wisdom of God. I am fruitful. I flourish, excel, and prosper in all that I do. I have the multiplier's anointing. Nothing is against me. Nothing dies in my hands. I am never stranded. The supernatural is natural to me. All things are working together for my good. God loves me more than the devil hates me. And grace is working for me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yeah, Titus chapter number three, may God bless his word in our hearts, in Jesus' much less name. God bless his words in our heart, in Jesus' much less name. Titus chapter number three. Glory to God. Glory to God. My, I don't think I've seen you lately. My, yo. I read from verse 1. Remind them to be subject to rulers, authorities, to obey and to be ready for every good work. I've thought this before. Um, it is not good Christian behavior to insult leadership. And let me say this. You don't have to agree with them, but they shouldn't bring you into bad behavior where you begin to insult them. It is not good Christian behavior to insult leadership. Two says to speak evil of no one, to be peaceable, gentle, showing all humility to all men. Don't don't remind them to be subject to rulers and authorities. Um, if the government puts a principle, it says align. You know, don't be the rebel. Yeah, is the honor code is very important that you keep that honor code. Keep the honor code. Very important. To speak evil to no one, to be peaceable, gentle, showing all humility to all men. For we ourselves were also once foolish. That means to do that is foolishness. To just go on your page and say, the governor of Lagos State, God will punish you. Very foolish man. Look at the sufferings of the people. The sufferings of the people. People need to cry out. Then the church. Church needs to cry out. Church should not do this. You are stupid. And Tinubu, what kind of rubbish is this? No, 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 no. You can't do that. You can't speak truth to power. That means you can disagree with the principles. You can express your frustration without insulting government and insulting their office. So you can actually say, I just think that this dollar thing something can be done about it i don't think they are feeling the pain of the people then subsidies out i don't think there was a i think they, they could have been a better way to navigate it you can say that but for you to just move from there to say uh -uh, for, they don't have sense now stupid people are you not seeing the way they are no, 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 you can't do that you can't do that bible calls it foolish behavior that means you're not peaceable you're not gentle you're not showing humility to all men especially those who are rulers and authority. This one is hard to see. Hard. Yeah, it's hard for people to, to see, but it's, it's the honor code. It is bad behavior. You can disagree without dishonoring the person. That's what I'm saying. You can disagree without dishonoring the person, the office, the structure. 
you can disagree. You don't have to dishonor. Say that, that, that one, Timu. Does he even have sins? I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, just, just there, behaving like a fool. What does, he, what does he know? Look at, no, you can't do that. That's foolish behavior. That's no New Testament behavior. That may be New Age behavior. That may be Sorosoke behavior. But that's not New Testament behavior. That is foolish behavior. You can't do that. If you can't do it with the honor code, don't do it at all. Don't go out there and just blab. Don't, 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 don't. 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 No, don't do that. It says, for we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving various lusts and pleasures, living in malice, envy, hateful, and hating one another. Yeah? Hating one another. But when the kindness and the love of God our Savior towards man appeared, when the kindness, watch this, verse 5, when the kindness and the love of God our Savior towards man appeared, can you see that? Can you see that? Did you see verse 5, verse 4? But when the kindness and the love of God our Savior towards man appeared, what? Who? Oh, that's so good. But when the kindness and the love of God our Savior towards so what does God have towards man? Kindness and love, Savior. So what God has towards man is not judgment, killing you, destroying you. No, that's not who God is. That's not who God is. Can you see that? Or when the kindness, love of God, our Savior, towards man. So what, what does God have towards man? Jesus. He's describing Jesus there. Faith, you're right, it's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus is describing there. See verse 5. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. So we did not contribute in the saving. He did that. Salvation is all his idea. Salvation is his work. See Titus chapter number 3, verse 5. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. He poured out on us what abundantly? Much more. That's what he's saying here. He poured out on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, much more that having been justified by his grace, we should become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Having been justified. Justified is just as if you never did it. Jenny Perez, to say that yesterday's service was powerful is an understatement. God bless you people. Thank you, ma'am. That having been justified by his grace, we should become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Justified by grace. Eight, this is a faithful saying. And these things I want you to affirm. Oof. I don't know if you guys are trapping with me today. He goes from verse 4, 5, 6, and 7. Watch this. Verse 4, 5, 6, and 7. Then verse 8, he says, This is a faithful saying. And these things I want you to affirm constantly. Constantly. 
Don't do it once and jump off. Affirm this thing. What is he telling us to affirm? The kindness and the love of God towards man. Saved by grace through faith. Not by righteousness. Affirm constantly. That those who have believed in God should be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable to men. <coughs> He's saying, when you affirm constantly, it will produce good works that are profitable to men. Affirm constantly. Affirm, affirm constantly. Verse 9. But avoid foolish disputes and genealogies, contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and what? Useless. Avoid foolish disputes, genealogies, contentions and thrivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and what? Useless. They are unprofitable and what? Useless. Unprofitable and useless. What, is, what, what do you mean by avoid foolish disputes and genealogy? So, so uh, Adam, and Eve, Cain and Abel, when Cain now left, who did Cain, who did Cain marry? Who, who is the father of that girl? Avoid, the Bible is about Jesus, not about genealogies. It's not about genealogies, it's about Jesus. If that, if that person's father and mother can only us to Jesus, it was not important. If that person's, are you now saying, avoid foolish argument? Let me read TPT, verse 9 in TPT and message. But avoid useless controversies, genealogies, pointless quarrels and arguments over the law, which will get you nowhere. Historical and religious junk. Oshie, okay, thank you. Stay away from mindless, pointless quarrels over genealogies and fine print of the law that gets you nowhere. Stay away from it. So once you start having people asking you those questions, don't, 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 don't indulge. Yeah, if that person who was and the father of this, he would have said this, he would have built the house. Where did Cain find wife? And Cain find wife from? That Cain wife and Cain wife, father, and mother, and their grandparents, they are useless to the teaching of the Bible. The Bible is about Christ. They are useless to the teaching of the Bible. The Bible is about, it's Yamayama conversation. Are you now saying, those, it is what Yamayama conversation. It's Bekelemes conversation. Don't get involved in it. Don't get involved. So, uh, that day, uh, this person, where did this person come from? Where's his father? Where's his mother? Okay, so, what happened? Before Ken and Ebe, who was um, uh, um, uh, Musa and, and Daniel? Before Musa and Daniel, who was uh, uh, Jeremiah and Jedidiah? It is a nonsense. If Jeremiah and Jedidiah's father and mother could not show us Jesus, it is irrelevant. The purpose of theology is for Christology. The purpose of Christology is for soteriology. If that thing could not show us Jesus, it was inconsequential, infinitesimal, um, irrelevant. Um, what's the word? Who born God? Where did God come from? So, before Genesis, Obi, what was that? It is, if it's not going to show you Jesus, it's not important. Before God said, let them be like, what was he doing? Was he just, no, no, no. It is not what important. They are not trying to prove anything. They are just crazy people. 10. Reject a divisive man after the first and second admonition. I want us to study this verse 10. Because you know you have people who are who born God is my is my favorite. <laughs> How can you born the one that gave birth to all things? He's the one who began the beginning before the beginning began, and no one began him himself. 
How do you? Now, verse 10, I want you to listen to verse 10 carefully. Reject a divisive man after the first and second admonition. Knowing that such a person is warped and sinning, being self-condemned. Let me read verse 10 again in another translation. Igewai. Verse 10 and 11. Because you have people who are more holier than Jesus, who are too sentiment, sentimental to make proper evaluation on things. After the first and second warning, have nothing more to do with a divisive person who refuses to be corrected. So you correct somebody once, he will not hear. Second time, Bible says, after that second time, don't, this person has decided not to have sins. For you know that such a one is entwined with his sin and stands self-condemned. He's not going to hear you. Don't waste your time with people who are... You know there are a lot of people who want to hear me speak. I keep telling people. There are a lot of people, coconut-head people. You tell them want to know. No, no. My mind, that's not my mind. Is My mind was telling me. My mind was saying, my mind, my mind, my mind. They have full production team in their head. Light, camera, action. Boom. They've turned away from the truth. Somebody say AMPC, please. 9, 10, and 11, right? Let me do 10 and 11. AMPC, 10 and 11. As for a man who is factious, a heretical <laughs> sectarian, and cause of division, after admonishing him a first and second time, reject him from your fellowship and have nothing more to do with him. Reject him. Well, aware that such a person has utterly changed his perverted and corrupted and he goes on sinning though he is convicted of guilt and self-condemnation person is dealing with self-condemnation and guilt let me do 10 and 11 in message want a quarrelsome person once or twice but then be done with him get out of my office It's obvious that such a person is out of line, rebellious against God. By persisting in divisiveness, he cuts himself off. Yeah? When I send, you, you get that point? So there are people that you cannot be... The person has already made up their mind. Don't correct once, correct twice, leave them. At best, be praying for them. At best, be praying for them. At best, be praying for them. Message is so blunt. Yeah. When I send Atemas to you, or Tachikos, be diligent to come to me at Nicopolis, for I have decided to spend the winter there. Send... Zenas, the lawyer, and Apollos on their journey with haste. Send Zenas, the lawyer. So people are committed to misunderstanding you. Don't spend time with such people. They are committed to misunderstanding you. When I send Artemis to you, or Tachikos, be diligent to come to me at Nicopolis. For I've decided to spend the winter there. Send Zenas, the lawyer, and Apollos on their journey with haste, that they may lack nothing. And let our people also learn to maintain good works to meet urgent needs that they may not be unfruitful. So Zenas was his lawyer. Yeah, of course. Paul will have a lawyer because he had a lot of prison experiences. He had case. Police station, no Paul. He don't preach again. They will arrest him. 
he said something. So Paul had a legal team. Zenos was part of it. So, so why would the church have a legal team? Uh-uh. Wouldn't God, God fight for them? Now you did the talk of verse 10. No? I don't admonish you once. So make her not admonish you second time. No? Or else, get at. Mm. Bible says reject. <laughs> reject. Egbalo. I will touch have legal thing. It's God not our advocate. Uncle, I don't admonish you once. So after the second admonishment, you will come and go. 15. All who are with me greet you. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen. Amen. And amen. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray as we go. Let us pray as we go. We are in Declaration 89, 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 Declaration 89 is where we are this morning. Luke 21 verse 15 I read. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. This declaration is powerful. I give you a mouth and a wisdom which all your adversaries thank you. Let me pin this. Miss Baby J. Good. I will give you a mouth and a wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Let me go. Wisdom is the trademark of the man in Christ. Wisdom is the trademark of the man in Christ. For Christ himself has become wisdom unto us. You are not without wisdom. God has given us the supernatural ability to know what to do at every given point in time. You are not without wisdom. You are not without wisdom. God has given us the supernatural ability to know what to do at every given point in time. Wisdom is the trademark of the man in Christ. For Christ himself has become wisdom to us. So you shouldn't be lacking in wisdom. And wisdom is important that you have. You are never without wisdom. Father, you are good and your mercy is endures forever. Today we declare that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We declare that the wisdom of God is at work in us. Christ has been made wisdom unto us. Therefore, I will work in supernatural wisdom of the days of my life. I decree and declare that Christ has become wisdom to you and therefore you walk in supernatural wisdom all the days of your lives. I declare that your footsteps are ordered by God. I declare that your footsteps are ordered by God. I declare that your footsteps are ordered by God. Your decisions are guided by God. Your paths are directed by the Spirit. One more time. I declare that your footsteps are ordered by God. I declare that your decisions are guided by God. I declare that your paths are directed by the Spirit. Again, I declare that your footsteps are ordered by God. I declare that your decisions are guided by God. I declare that your paths are directed by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you speak the right words. You are in the right place at the right time, speaking the right words to the right person. I decree and declare that you are in the right place at the right time, speaking the right words to the right person. 
I decree and declare that you are at the right place at the right time, speaking the right words to the right persons in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that you are at the right place at the right time, speaking the right words to the right person in the name of Jesus. You are at the right place at the right time, speaking the right words to the right person in the name of Jesus. I decree that when you speak, people listen. I decree that when you speak, people listen. I decree and declare that your adversaries will not be able to resist your words. Your adversaries will not be able to resist your words. No force can resist your decrees. No force can resist your decrees. Your adversaries will not be able to resist your words. No force can resist your decrees. I decree that you are not lacking in wisdom, but you are rich in wisdom. Ah, come. A lot of people have wisdom deficits. Like you just lack wisdom. And that's not who you are. Because you are the righteousness of God in Christ, and Christ is the wisdom of God within you. Let wisdom have expression, not your production in your mind. That always produces nonsense. Yes, I'm talking to you. When I speak, when you speak, people listen. <clears throat> I decree that your adversaries will not be able to resist the wisdom and no force can resist your decrees and the wisdom that will come out from you. Decree and declare that you are rich in wisdom. I prophesy that you are rich in wisdom. That even your boss and your leaders are coming to you. You are rich in wisdom. 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 I decree and declare that you are not lacking in wisdom, but you are rich in wisdom. I can't, I can't seem to move past this place. You are rich in wisdom. Wisdom brings wealth. So if I say you are rich in wisdom, I'm talking about your wealth. Because some of you, until I say you are rich in dollars, that's when you start shouting amen. I'm saying you are rich in wisdom. Wisdom brings wealth. Wisdom will preserve your life. Wisdom will bring you triple promotion. Wisdom will make you valuable to your team. Wisdom will make you incredible to your team. So I know what I'm talking about. I decree and declare one more time. You are rich in wisdom. You are rich in wisdom. You are rich in wisdom. In the name of Jesus. You're not lacking in wisdom. But you are rich in wisdom. I declare that confusion is far from you. And you always know what to do. You make the right decisions. Because you always have the wisdom, the workings of the wisdom of God in you. You make the right decisions because you always have the workings of the wisdom of God in you. You walk in supernatural wisdom and you always win. You always win in Jesus' matchless name. Amen, amen, and amen. This is powerful. This is powerful. This is powerful. You remember yesterday's declaration? Yesterday's declaration was you are fruitful. Now today is you have wisdom. Pin it down. Go back to it during the day. Say it again. Say it again. Decree and declare it over your life. You're fruitful and you're not lacking in wisdom. In Jesus much less than hey. Now from Thursday they know how we can go be. Now from Thursday they know how we can go be. Find somebody today. Saturday is your daughter's birthday. Hey, I will see you. You're coming to see me. I'll pray with you. Now, from Thursday, they know how we can go be. Find somebody from today that you can pack in for Sunday morning. It's not Saturday you start inviting them from church. It's Thursday. But, but we're going to church on Sunday. I'm making first service. I'm doing second service. Okay, 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 okay. You don't catch me. You don't catch me. You don't catch me. You know they wake up on time. 12 30 service. I need you to be there. How can I get the book? Is in church. If you're in church, in Lagos Church, Mainland Church, Abuja Church is on Amazon. I think it's on Kindle too. Yeah. Or you should write to the office. They may be able to send to you. What chapter are we doing next? Tomorrow we'll do Philemon. Tomorrow we'll do Philemon. Tomorrow we'll do Philemon. Tomorrow we'll do Philemon. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do Philemon. We'll just keep reading. Now, from Thursday, they know how we can go be. Find somebody from today that you can talk to the person about. London Church, all of you here, BBJ, find somebody today and tell them we're going to church on Sunday, ain't it? 
find somebody from today that you must take to church on Sunday morning. Now Thursday they know how we can go bill. Not be Friday. Not be Saturday. We can don't start already. Now Thursday they know how we can go be. So please, from today, in it, in it, people in London church, find your people in it that you can in it, in it, into in it. Hey God. Hallelujah. In it, in it, in it, in it. So you can come in it. I'm preaching now. In it, in it, people. Find your people that you can enter in it. In it. In it. So you can come in it. Hallelujah. In it. Church, Lagos people. Bring people to church. Find some. London church. Stop that bad behavior. In it, in it, people. Say you're not working on Sunday. In it. In it, them, that you can come in it. Amen. For blessed is he who come in. In the name of the Lord. I'll see you people tomorrow for 7 30 I've preached today. Sunday morning. Bye.